Are you planning to come to the UK for work? If yes, then you need to prove your English language proficiency, which you can do in two ways. First way is obvious, which everyone is aware, which is to give IELTS exam. And second way is NARIC and ECCTIS, which is easy solution. So just a little reminder to people who are new to my channel, I've already covered NARIC topic in detail last year. However, I see lots of questions which are posted on this video on a daily basis. So I will address all the new questions as part of this video and also cover the new updates. Hello guys, I'm Sarika and welcome to Your Knowledge Buddy. So today's agenda is to cover everything about NARIC. So I'm going to start with what is NARIC, which nationals need to prove English language proficiency, eligibility criteria, what services are provided by NARIC, how to apply, what documents are needed, how much does it cost, and I'm going to cover the top eight questions which I have collected from the comment section of my previous video. So without any further delay, let's get started with today's agenda, which is what is NARIC. So NARIC is a National Academic Recognition Center and is the national agency responsible for providing official information on international education, training and skills acquired outside the UK. So new name of NARIC is ECCTIS, links in the description. So throughout this video, I'm going to use ECCTIS word as this is the new name. So you can use their service if you're applying for tier two skilled worker visa, health and care skill visa, startup visa, innovator visa, ministry of religion visa, family including spouse visa, settlement or citizenship and even naturalization visa. So if you're applying for carer or senior carer jobs, you can use ECCTI certificates and you don't need IELTS. Also note for nurses, you still need IELTS. However, there are plenty of students who are asking if they can use this service for tier 4 student visa. The answer is no, as per information on the UK Home Office website. However, if you are an international student in the UK and switching your visa to skill visa, you neither need IELTS nor ECCTIS. And good news is that ECCTIS certificate doesn't come with an any expiry date versus IELTS which expires in two years. Now, my next agenda is which nationals need it. So if you come from English speaking country, then you don't need IELTS or ECCTIS. Full list of countries is shown on the screen. Some examples are like Barbados, uh, Jamaica, Dominica, Malta, uh, New Zealand, Trinidad, USA and Canada. However, for other countries where English is not the most spoken language like India, Pakistan, Sri Lanka, you will have to either submit your ECCTIS or IELTS certificate for visa processing. Now, agenda number three, eligibility criteria. So if you have studied outside of the UK and hold a degree level qualification like bachelor's, master's or PhD, which was taught in English, you can get English language proficiency certificate according to the CEFR scale. And then you can use that statement for applying for UK visa. Agenda number four, what services are provided by ECCTIS? So there are two services, visas and nationality, which gives you English language certificate. Number two is statement of comparability, which compares your foreign degree with the UK degree. However, this is not needed to apply for UK visa. So only choose visas and nationality service for your English language. Now, agenda number five, how to apply? You can directly go to ECCTIS.com and click on Visa and Nationality Service via the link which is provided on the screen and also in the description. Make sure you create your account with them as well. So let's have a quick demo. So this is the official website of ECCTIS and as you scroll down you can go through their services. For UK Visa you need to click on this which is about the UK Visa or settlement in the UK and you'll be landing on visas and nationality service. So just click on apply now and create your account and register with them. Now agenda number six, what documents are needed? So there are a couple of documents which are needed. For example, first is you need your final certificate which is your final degree. Second is the transcript. Third is certified translations of your documents, if not in English. Also, you can take ECCTI service dialexy.com, which comes with additional cost. And the fourth is medium of instruction, MOI, which simply means a letter from your university stating your studies were done in English. So there are few people who had asked for MOI template. So this is the sample which you can get directly from the official website. And I'm also going to link in the video description. Also, if you want to know how your ECCTI certificate of English proficiency will look like, another sample which is provided on their website is this. 
Now, agenda number seven, how much does it cost? So for visa and nationality service for English language, it costs you 140 pound plus the VAT amount. However, there's a delivery charge as well, which varies from UK delivery versus international delivery as shown on the screen. And also for e-statement, you need to pay 7.5 pound and for courier service, 80 pound. Also, you can download the e-statement, which is available for download for three months from your account, which can be used for your visa application. So you can save your money by not opting for courier service as downloaded e-statements can be used for your visa, which was not the case before. So this is the biggest change. Now, let's go through the questions which you had asked me in the previous video. Question one, how long is this certificate valid for? So the UK ECCTI certificate is valid for a lifetime. So no renewal is needed. Question two, I need this certificate urgently. What can I do? So you can apply online via fast track service, which comes with additional cost. Question number three, how do I contact ECCTI? So if you have questions regarding the UK ECCTI service for individuals, you can visit FAQs page or even their interactive guide. If you have online accounts, sign up and go to messages. If you have urgent query about your application or account, you can call them on this number and make sure you have your unique inquiry ID ready so that they can assist you as quickly as possible. And if you don't have an account, you can call them on this number anytime, Monday to Friday, 9 a.m. to 5 p.m. UK time. If you want to send them comments or feedback, you can email them on feedback at the rate eccti.com. Now, question number four. Do you need statement of comparability? So answer is no. Just take the service of visa and nationality because for UK visa, you don't need to compare your degree, but you just need to prove your English language. Question number five, how will I receive my certificate or assessment by NARIC? So you have two options, e-statement and by a post. You can opt for any option or even both the options. Question number six, how long does it take for my certificate to come after submitting my application? So 10 days is their normal time frame, but you can also fast track your application by paying extra money. Now, question number seven, if I have multiple degree, which certificate to upload? So for visas and nationality service, they only look at the higher education qualification. So if you have bachelor's and master's, just submit your master's degree. If you have done PhD, just submit your PhD degree. Question eight, how to track your application? So you can do online via order status section. So this brings me to the end of the video. So NARIC certificate is valid for a lifetime. I would recommend to apply and keep it ready with you if you are seeking for jobs in the UK, as this will be needed for most of the visa category, which I discussed today. So if you still have more questions, which I haven't answered, please feel free to let me know in the comment section below. Thanks for watching my video till the end, and I'll see you guys soon with my next video. Till then, keep learning.